Ronin Pawn! Hello, I am the Ronin Pawn, and this is a movement. Not that kind of movement, get your head out of the potty. <laughs> Kerbal Space Program has gone beta, okay? We've been in the alpha development period for years, and KSP has just recently gone beta. And in the beta, we got game. KSP got mad game. We've got Kerbals running around, getting experience points, leveling up. We've got new contracts that are gonna send us to, send us to build space stations and collect asteroids. We've got upgradable facilities that unlock new technologies. We've got a game in the beta. And I love the beta. I love every single feature in the new KSP beta, mostly. Mostly. There is one thing in the beta that I absolutely loathe. And that is the Tier 1 Kerbal Space Center. Isn't it ugly? <laughs> Isn't it ugly? Is there something wrong with my eyes? Am I alone here, fellas? Does anyone else look at this... Windows 3.1 era blue on gray color scheme and think Bleh. There's a reason okay for the past 20 years since Windows 3.1 graphic designers around the world have been avoiding exactly that shade of blue for a reason It's because it's, it looks like Bleh. <laughs> It's just, but, you know, forget about the color scheme, just, just look at it, just, here, lean over it with me, lean over the space center and take a whiff. Does anyone else smell manure? Because if I got something stuck in my nose, it's just, it's meh, I've got no words for it, I've got, uh, meh, it's very, very meh, that's not really a word though, I do have one word for it, one English dictionary word for it, and I hate to use it, and I hate to turn it, but it's true, and the word is, generic. It's incredibly generic, and I hate to say that. I hate to say that about anything KSP, because KSP is not generic. It's got character and charisma. You got little green men, and it's it's, it's full of life and vibrance, and it's got its own je ne sais quoi, and its own... It, it's a Kerbal thing. It's a Kerbal thing. This Tier 1 KSC is not a Kerbal thing. It is generic. It is bleh. <laughs> it's really, really bad. And I've had this. I've had this KSP for like three weeks. I'm part of the Media Collaborators group. In order to make our pre-release videos and hype the game, we get advanced copies of it. So I, I've had this for three, and I hope I'm not burning any bridges making this video. KSP, I love you. I love you and I thank you very much. I owe so much to the KSP uh, Media Collaborators group in general. But I have to say this, this, I've had this for three weeks. And every time I open it, I have to just click into the VAB as quickly as possible because I don't want to look at it. Because it's so, it's so not KSP. It doesn't fit at all. And the first time that I opened it, three weeks ago, I just, I was so disappointed. I had to work to see all the great stuff that we got in the beta because it's loaded with great stuff. I had to work to look past this because it's the first thing that you see when you open up the game. And it looks like this. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't want to be the guy that does this. I don't want to be the person who sticks it in and twists it. You know, I am, I am very, very well aware that there is a man who sat at a computer on the development team and made these models and, and created these textures and spent weeks and weeks putting all this together. And I, I, I feel bad about being the guy who has to come to you and say, this is crap, what are you doing? Don't put this in the game. It's not your best work. It's really not your best work. And I know that because I've seen your best work. I've seen your best work and it looks like this. Ladies and gentlemen, these are images that were released by the dev team, by KSP, while they were working on the game. I'm not leaking anything. This isn't, this isn't private information. These are images that were released in order to promote the release of the beta. Well, it was in development. This is the Tier 1 Space Center we were going to have. And I love it! 
Isn't it, isn't it great? Look, it's, you've got a big red barn, and you've got, look at this, some, whoever built this, and it's the same man, by the way, I know, it's the same man who built the tier one that I'm looking at and going, bleh. <laughs> it's the same guy, when he built this, he put his heart and soul into it, look at all the creativity, you've got little RVs that the Kerbals are living out of, because it's so, it's such a cheap space center, you, they don't have money yet, so they're living out of the RVs, and they've got little uh, electricity generating windmills over in the corner, you've got a big Big red barn. You've got sandbags around your um around your launch pad. It's just got so much character and 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 this this is the je ne sais quoi of KSP. This is a Kerbal thing. This is a Kerbal thing, and it's just it's fun and it's fun. I I lean over this and take a whiff, and I just smell daisies and flowers and fun times ahead. It's it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. And look at it. It's done. It's completely done. I mean, maybe there's maybe they still had to do some internals or something like that, but they're actually, it's in the game. You can see in the pictures, look, they've got a plane and they're flying it around and they're driving it around in order to get the shots. It's done. It was built into the game and it got pulled and instead we got bleh. Why? Why? I'll tell you why. When these images were released, there were two responses, and one of them happened primarily on the Kerbal Space Program forums. And that response was, Wee! This is great! Oh my god, I can't wait for the beta to come out! Please, get it done quick, because I want to build a rover and drive around this new space center! It looks so cool! I'm so, I'm so glad you're building this! New players are just going to be so enthusiastic to get into the game! So that was the response in the Kerbal Space Program forum. And then there was another response that I'm told happened on Reddit. And we all know the best things always happen on Reddit. And I didn't know that there was a conversation taking place, but I'm pretty sure that it went something like this. I, I don't like these designs. These, are, these aren't realistic at all. You're ruining my space program. I like the players NASA. And they, they, they kicked the beehive, and they stirred a bunch of people up, and they created a bunch of vitriol on the internet toward the barn. Toward the barn model. And because the developers are so responsive to the community, they heard this from the community and they said, okay, you know, we spent a month designing these and making this, thinking about it, talking about it at meetings and stuff like that. But if you guys don't like it, well, okay, we'll do something else because we care what the community thinks. And thank God, thank God we've got such responsive developers. But... The thing is, I, and a lot of people, didn't know we were having this conversation on Reddit. And if I'd known we were having this conversation on Reddit, I would have shown up. I would have shown up and I would have had one or two things to say. And I probably would have done something like this. When I started this video, I said that this is a movement. And it is. The Bring Back the Barn movement. Okay? I love the barn, and I sure as hell don't like what we got in place of the barn thanks to Reddit. So what I want you to do right now, right this second, while you're listening to the sound of my voice, I want you to open a new tab and go to Twitter, and I want you to tweet at Kerbal Space P, which is the official Twitter account of Kerbal Space Program. I want you to tweet them, hashtag, bring back the barn. And then I want you to tweet again. I want you to tweet publicly. I want you to make sure all your followers know. I want you to make sure all your friends know. And all the people who you know play KSP. I want you to get the word out there. Let them know that we're trying to get the barn model in to replace the bleh that we got because of Reddit. Okay? I want you to click the like button on this video so this video shows up in your tweet stream. I want people to know. Because there was a conversation held on Reddit and the decision was, we don't like it. Get rid of it and give us something more generic. Which he did, and that's what we got. And I'm not satisfied. Not at all. So I'm calling on you to get out there and bring back the barn. I want you to tweet, I want you to be tweeting things that have absolutely nothing to do with Kerbal Space Program. Hey Jim, did you uh, pick up the potatoes from the store? Hashtag bring back the barn. I want to see hashtag bring back the barn all over Twitter. I want to see this video circulated. I want other people making videos about Bring Back the Barn. We're going to bring back the barn, okay? I'm up. I'm up now. Reddit, you got me up.
You got the Ronin pawn up. What? One love, son. KSP. For life. Huh? It's right. Bring back the barn. I am the Ronin pawn. Bring back the barn. Pawn. Out. Bring back the barn.